Hey guys, welcome back to Mas Kwentuhan. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw na ito ay tungkol naman sa kung paano ba mag-add at mag-subtract ng monomial expressions. Ginawa ko ang video na ito para sa mga students na gustong matutunan yung concept ng adding and subtracting monomials. So paano ba mag-add ng monomial expressions? Let's say for example, yung given monomial is 3x and another monomial expression which is 4x. To add monomial expressions like 3x and 4x, dalawang bagay lang yung dapat mong tandaan. First is to add the numerical coefficients. And second is to copy the same literal coefficients. Kapag sinabing numerical coefficients, ito yung numero na nasa unahan lang ng variable or variables. In this case, yung numerical coefficient ng first term is 3. At yung second term naman ay may numerical coefficient na 4. Yung variable or variables kasama na yung exponent ay tinatawag naman natin literal coefficients. So in this example, the literal coefficients of the first term and the second term are both x. If the given terms have the same literal coefficients, tinatawag natin itong similar terms. At yung similar terms lang yung pwede nating i-add o pwede nating i-combine. Now to add 3x and 4x, let's add first the numerical coefficients which are 3 and 4. Since 3 plus 4 is equal to 7, then we write equals 7 and we copy the same literal coefficient. So the sum of 3x and 4x is equal to 7x. Let us consider another similar example. Ang example natin this time is to get the sum of the monomials 5n squared, 8n squared, and 11n squared. Since we want to get the sum of these monomials, then the operation that we will use is addition. Gaya lamang ng ginawa natin kanina, the first step that we have to apply is to add the numerical coefficients which are 5, 8, and 11. Since 5 plus 8 plus 11 is equal to 24, then we write equals 24 and we just copy the common literal coefficient which is n squared. So our final answer would be 24 n squared. Our last example for addition, we will consider adding monomials whose literal coefficients are not all the same. So in this example, the given monomials are 23xy, 12z, negative 9xy, and negative z. We cannot go directly on adding the coefficients of the given monomials like what we did on the first and second examples because the literal coefficients are unlike. Yung mga terms lang na similar yung pwede nating i-combine. So what we will do first is to identify what terms can be combined if there is any. As we can see, yung monomial term na 23xy at negative 9xy are similar because both have the same literal coefficients of xy. So pwede natin itong i-combine. Yung terms na 12z at negative z are also similar. Kaya pwede natin silang i-add. Ang susunod natin gagawin is to add the numerical coefficients of 23xy and negative 9xy. Since 23 plus negative 9 is equal to 14, then we write equals 14 and we simply copy the literal coefficients xy as our partial answer. This time naman, we will add the numerical coefficients of 12 and negative 1. 
remember na yung term na negative z is the same as negative 1z. However, in mathematics, we do not necessarily write the coefficient 1 in front of the variable because it is understood that the term without any number placed before a variable has an imaginary coefficient of 1 like in the case of negative z. Since 12 plus negative 1 is equal to 11, then we write plus 11z. So our final answer would be 14xy plus 11z. Paano naman mag-subtract ng monomial expressions? Itong mga examples na makikita nyo ay yung mga ginamit natin kanina sa pag-aad ng mga monomial terms. We will just use the same examples, but this time, ang operation na gagamitin natin ay subtraction. So simulan natin sa monomials na 3x at 4x. To subtract 3x and 4x, dalawang rules lang din yung dapat mong tandaan. First is to subtract the numerical coefficients and then kopyahin mo lang yung literal coefficients na common sa both terms. Pero wag din kalimutan na yung mga similar terms lang yung pwede nating i-combine. Now to subtract 3x and 4x, isubtract muna natin yung mga numerical coefficient na 3 and 4, which would result to negative 1. And we simply copy the common literal coefficient, which is x. So our final answer would be negative x. Remember that negative x and negative 1x are just the same. Yung next example natin is to subtract the monomials 5n squared, 8n squared, and 11n squared. You can easily obtain the difference among the three terms kung kabisado na natin yung rules. But for illustration, ipapakita pa din natin ng step by step kung paano isubtract itong mga terms. Now to get the difference of the given terms, isubtract muna natin yung mga numerical coefficients na 5, 8, and 11 which would result to negative 14. And the next step is to copy their common literal coefficient which is n squared. So our final answer would be negative 14 n squared. Sa last example natin, we will consider subtracting monomials whose literal coefficients are not all the same. Kagaya nung kanina, i-identify muna natin kung anong mga terms yung pwede nating masubtract. As we can see, yung monomial terms na 23xy at negative 9xy are similar. Kaya pwede natin itong masubtract. Yung terms na 12z at negative z are also similar so it is possible to combine these terms. And since we want to get the difference of these four monomial terms, lalagyan lang natin ng subtraction symbol. Ang susunod na gagawin natin is to subtract the numerical coefficients of 23 and negative 9, which would result to 32. And then we copy the same literal coefficients. That's why we obtained 32xy. Next is to subtract the numerical coefficients of 12z and negative z. Yung negative z has a numerical coefficient of negative 1, so that's negative 12 minus negative 1, which would result to negative 11. And then we copy the common literal coefficient, that's why we obtained negative 11z. So our final answer would be 32xy minus 11z.